What up, world? It's Eternal Authenticity, broadcasting live. I'm doing the nature vlog out here, nice and quiet, in this new nature space. And I'm doing a video, honestly, of, hey, living to see another day in a new way. You know, like, the marathon continues. Yes, that's great. And the rabbit hole gets deeper and deeper every day. You know, red pill, blue pill. I'm always choosing red pill. You know, I'm not, and no, I'm not talking about actually, you know, popping chemicals or poisons or pills or pharmaceutical stuff. I'm just being descriptive in a way of what serves us and what doesn't serve us. What's healing and what's hurting. You know, what's building and what's destroying, red, blue. You know, it's not all just black or white, but it's just oh, it's just a way of life. That's all I'm saying. It's not black and white. There's a lot of colors and contrasts. I'm just saying I'm always moving forward in a true, healthy progression every day with simple things, coming out to nature, getting my mind right, you know, investing in love, getting my mind about love, um, taking care of my health i'm a vegan of three years over three years now plant-based foods plant-based supplements meditating just creating youtube videos you know writing expressing my thoughts just being me you know just being myself and i'm honestly raising the frequency so but yeah I'm doing a video now about just continuing the momentum in our life progression, keeping our head up, you know, when the world may be kind of gloomy and cold and quiet and, you know, we have to be the light, you know, we have to glow. And especially when those closest to us have, you know, left us or they don't want to be bothered or whatever these are times where we do enjoy some alone time to help get our mind right and to help know about who we are you know this is just the truth because otherwise when you're always around people that's cool you know but it's like ultimately when you're always around them you start like almost lying to yourself in a way you start you know kind of it's kind of like smothering each other in a way and like you know, ultimately, everybody is supposed to have some alone time. Ultimately, everybody can benefit from having alone time on the planet. Because when you're always hearing everybody talking, always giggling, fooling around, playing, horsing around, even if when it's in a relationship and all you're doing is, you know, not, you know, it's the love aspects there. However, like both parties aren't ready you know like the attraction is there the visions the dreams it's just like both parties still have a lot of have work to do you know to be able to experience stuff to be able to do stuff you know to travel to act upon these plans both sides need it both parties need it so that's something i noticed too you know like yeah of course i'm all for being laid up you know with the beautiful woman of my dreams you know the queen and just enjoying love and intimacy and romance all day every day you know however to be honest you know we have a life to live and we have places to go places to travel and i'm not going to be locked down in a cage and vice versa you know plus getting out into the sunlight you know what i'm saying stuff like this this is how you keep yourself going because if you're always trapped in that's how you're gonna keep your mind and that's what it is. But what I've noticed is taking heed, you know, understanding the messages. I was saying taking heed to the message, like being clear of different signs and signals, you know, to embrace a long time. And yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I'm out here. I'm alone and I'm on my purpose, on my mission, doing simple things, healing, evolving, you know, keeping my head up, keeping my faith right and yeah that's how it is honestly you know like 
we have to be resilient in this life journey. We have to be very resilient in this life journey because there's so many different scenarios and situations and circumstances going on. And some of it really can pull at our heartstrings. Some of us can really, some of it can really leave us confused, angry, frustrated, you know, just like throw it off, you know. And ultimately, like, we're not supposed to just stay there in that type of vibe, vibration. You know, we got to be able to rise higher, move forward, and allow things to align. And like I said, hmm, I've been through some wild stuff where I just, I'm being taken for granted. You know what I'm saying? I'm being taken for granted, unappreciated, and, like, <laughs> it's something where we have to realize, hey, I'm good enough. You know, I'm worthy. I'm someone. And that's our power, honestly. Like, that's an ultimate power. They talk about the power of love. Whatever you want to call it, like, it's true. Because when you truly make that connection, you know, that's supposed to be a sacred connection. You're not going to be, like, just doing this to everybody. You know, you're not going to be with everybody. You know what I'm saying? All the, th you're not, you're not, you're not going to be having your whole house cluttered, you know, with random energies, you know, with lustful, lower vibrational energies. That's the point I'm making. So whenever you can simplify your life down, whenever you can <laughs> heal, begin the healing process, it makes things so much more simple and smooth because like I said, I've been through a lot of wild crap. And I'm not looking back. You know what I'm saying? I'm only, only striving for the most amazing circumstances. Just pure love, blessings, gifts, appreciation, respect, you know, honor. That's all I'm open to receiving is that only stuff that's inspiring me, that's uplifting me, that's supporting me, that's loving me. That's all I'm allowing into my life. That's all I am going to move forward with in my evolution because that's what makes sense the other stuff is lies you know what i mean the other stuff is fear the other stuff is distraction and it's bull crap you know so for me i'm like hey i know how it feels i'm aware of how the love vibration feels love is going hand in hand with creation from creating you know and having your first newborn child to even creating videos, YouTube videos, creating music, creating plays for a basketball team, you know, creating artwork, creating an instrument. You know what I'm saying? It's your unique correlation with creation that matters, you know. And for me, like I said, I'm not a tough guy. I'm not into drama. I'm not into any of that stuff. You know, I give it my all. You know, I'm a very dreamy romantic affectionate real life guy though you know i'm able to make life a real life fairy tale you know i'm able to enjoy life like it's a real life fairy tale i'm able to be an alchemist you know making the best out of the worst you know that's how i'm able to be a wizard and enjoy life you know throughout the end of it throughout the long run that's what matters is your fulfillment, your enjoyment, and your faith in stuff, your vision, your dream, and sticking with it, you know. Um, that's just the honest truth of it, to be honest. That's why I keep touching up on it because, you know, I've seen a lot of stuff. People have seen a lot of stuff. I've been through a lot of stuff. People have been through a lot of stuff, too. And ultimately, we're just looking to get to a peace, an equilibrium, you know, away from the chaos, away from the drama, away from the people who don't answer our calls, away from the people who switched up and turned fake, away from the people that lied and they're afraid of our greatness, away from people that are afraid to love, you know, away from people that hate, away from people that are liars, that are narcissists, that, you know, lack communication and appreciation, away from all that stuff. You know, it's just a vibration, literally. It's like you either gravitate towards each other or you you, you repel away towards each or you repel away from each other. Yeah, there may be a little disagreement, anger, fight, whatever, space, you know, however that's when that's happening consistently and it's a consistent closed off type of communication where you're not vibrating towards each other, where it's 
it feels more or less, you know, like it's died out, like it's forced, like they're taking you for granted, then <laughs> get your mind right and focus on the energy that is helping you. That's the best way for me to say it, you know, because I'm always grateful. I'm always grateful. I'm always appreciative. And whenever I finally get to the, the point where I'm like, hey, you know, I've done enough. I am enough. I'm doing enough. You know, I'm young. You know what I'm saying? I have a long ways to go. So when you truly love someone, we truly care for someone, you should be there too. Still in the long run. That's what real love is. It's not just, oh, I love you for, you know, the first week of May and then the last week of May. Uh, you know, it's over for good forever. You know, even though I'm super young, even though I'm young, early 20s or whatnot. But guess what? You know, that's it. You know, even though I'm on the path to living beyond 80, 90 years and you can still be around, then, you know, that's what you have to consider. That's what real life, real love is, is when you went through a segment of time of not speaking to each other and then you progress to when you are 60 70 80 and y'all have rekindled the flame you know somewhere down the road for me i am not waiting that long to rekindle the flame i just like i said i'm always receptive to the messages of whenever the universe wants me to be alone or have space or whatever you know i'm playing my role my part i'm an aries you know i'm like i'm a, i'm an amazing father i'm a great dad um, that's who I am. You know, that's the embodiment I give off a very chivalrous, romantic, you know, old soul, you know, imaginative, youthful, you know, loving dad, father embodiment. That's what I'm embodying. That's what I am. That's what I have. And is that along with all the other aspects uniquely tied to me? You know, I'm a free spirit. You know, I'm a humanitarian also. I'm also, you know, kind of very, like, gentle. Like, you know, I'm not always, I'm not, like, always, I'm not out here chasing attention. I'm not out here, you know, causing a ruckus, you know, consistently, you know, selling my soul or stuff like that. I'm not doing any of that stuff. You know, when some, I have been pissed off or angry or, you know, something that I need to speak up about, I'll do it in a healthy way. However, I'm not going to be out here acting a fool, you know, neglecting who I am. I'm not going to do that, you know. So that's how I got. I'm at this point now. It's just by keeping my consistency, walking up this pyramid, walking up these stepping stones, just having faith. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm young, you know, and guess what? Somebody's going to accept me for me soon. You know, somebody's going to join me soon. Somebody's going to love me soon, truly. You know, I'm worthy of it. You know, I'm young. So guess what? Those people that said that they love us, those people that shared those loving moments and memories, we're about to see who's real. We're about to see who stayed true. We're about to see who is true. You know why? Because that's the only thing that's going to benefit us is the true ones, you know, all the lies, all the stuff that doesn't serve us, that's distractions and they basically fall off the face of the earth and it's like dead weight. You know, it's just like junk, literally garbage. Why hold on to that heavy energy? You know, so like when we can just keep going, keep that flow, getting outside, getting out to nature, breathing, focusing on people that's actually helping you when you're going through hard times. Pay attention, you know, invest in them, care for them and just learn from them, too. And just have a faith that, hey, you know what? I'm here to live a super long life. Let me keep working on my vision, on my dream, on the, the empire I'm building and whatnot. And guess what? We will see who still remains. We will see who will come to be at my doorstep. I'm ready to see who will be at my doorstep. I'm ready to see who will be showing up at my doorstep, showing that they really have true love for me. I'm excited to see that happening soon. You know, I'm always reminding myself, hey, when it's real love, they show up at your doorstep. When it's real love, they are able to put their homework down, their papers down, you know, devote some time away from work, you know, devote some time away from dealing with family, you know, and even 
letting go of some of their alone time to invest. That's what real love is. And I'm always like, hey, you know what? I am confident and aware that soon the most magnificent love will be right at my doorstep because I have the universe working in my favor and I'm doing my best every day, honestly, with the best I have. And my intentions are only to love and be loved, you know, and to just be a diamond and give that diamond in the form of energy to the one I love, you know. So I don't have to have such a complicated life for anything. I don't have to have all these statistics and, you know, analytic stuff in my head. You know, I don't have to do any of that stuff. I can just have a simple life where... I am being myself, 